Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. My name is Andrew and today we'll be reviewing another small batch beard company. This company recognizes that our beards differentiate us as men and Almighty God, our Creator, who made us in His image, intended for men to have beards. They want to provide you with products to help you take care of your manly gift from God, your beard. Their proclamation to you is, don't just grow any beard, grow a biblical beard. So guys, let's meet them right now. All right, my bearded friends, so the company that we'll be reviewing today is called the Bay Area Beard Company. They are owned by a super nice guy by the name of Matthew Selby, and they are located in Land of Lakes, Florida. That's in the Tampa Bay area. They started their company in late 2019. Now, his website is not live yet, but it will be soon, and it will be at www.biblicalbeard.com. So guys, I think that's pretty cool and along with his theme. So, why did Matt start his company? So I'm going to read to you in his own words how Matt started his company because I think it is interesting. So, he says, I branded in September of 2019. I was raised in a bit of a religious household and I'm kind of a product of prayer. You see, my mother couldn't have children, so I was a miracle baby, but father, the one who helped start my relationship with God passed away in April of last year. So I wanted to honor those values and foundation. I wanted to start something that gave me purpose, what embodied my passion. Now you've seen skulls, Vikings, cavemen, lumberjacks, and everything, rough, tough, and manly. I wanted a different lane, something bold and strong, yet humble and giving. Something that stands for something, not just the brand. So guys, I think that's pretty cool. Let's move on and see what Matt and the Bay Area Beard Company sent to me. All right, my bearded brethren, I am super excited now. Why? Because I get to share the product sent to me by the Bay Area Beard Company with you. And guys, when I received these packages, I was like, hallelujah. Check these out, guys. This is incredible. Now, Matt was generous enough to send me out two boxes of products. And check out these boxes, guys. These are just beautiful presentation. Just check it out. So on the front, it's got that gorgeous Bay Area Beard Company wax logo on the front. And on the back, it has a psalm. And the psalm says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell in unity. It is like precious oil upon the head coming down upon the beard. And that's Psalm 133.1-2. Check that out. And on the side it has another logo. It says Biblical on both sides. So I think, guys, these boxes right from the beginning just give you that wow factor. And it is really a big wow factor. So anyway, let's check out what's inside. So in this first box, guys... When I opened it up, he sent me three oils and a beard butter. Look at that. Beautiful packaging inside, and it also has a comb and a sticker inside as well. Now I want to show you the packaging of the individual products. So this is a bottle of one ounce beard oil. Look at that. It comes in this tube. It is just absolutely gorgeous has the wax seal on it keeping it shut and then over here it has the directions and the ingredients and when you open this up inside it's a one ounce bottle of beard oil and it is like a frosted amber bottle so I don't see too many of those but it is very very cool and of course it has the logo on the front that says biblical 
and down here Bay Area Beard Company and of course it has all of the ingredients which I'll get to in a second. So I got actually three bottles of beard oil in this package. This beard oil is in their Exodus scent. This one here was in their um, Genesis scent. And then the third bottle that I took out, this one, guys, is in their Chero set scent. The beard butter that I got, guys, check out this beard butter. It is also beautifully packaged. It has the wax seal on there. Right now, the wax seals, depending on the color, is identifying the scent. And this one happens to be in the Casablanca scent. Now check this out, it has like this faux wooden top on it. This is a three and a half ounce jar of beard butter and it is in a very solid glass container. It is not plastic, it is solid glass. It is really, really classy. Also inside, gentlemen, was a business card with one side has the Bay Area Beard Company wax seal logo and on the other side, it says Biblical Beard Oil. So I think that is really cool. And of course, it has their contact information on it as well. And he also sent me this Bay Area Beard Company Wax Sealed Logoed Sticker. So stickers are always appreciated. Thank you very much, Matt. So let's move on and check out what's inside the other box. So in this other box, guys, again, it is just a beautiful, beautiful presentation. Inside this box, let me show it to you. It is a beard oil, a beard balm, and a comb. It also has a sticker in it, so I think that is really, really nice. This beard oil, again, it has the silver wax seal, and this one is in their Aqua DiGio Cologne scent, so I think that is really awesome as well. And the beard balm that he sent, it's in a standard two ounce tin, but he decorates it up again with that wax seal that differentiates the scent. And the scent on this beard balm is also in the Chero Set scent. So I do have the beard oil and the matching beard balm, and I think that is awesome. He has a different sticker in this one, which is just the logo of the Bay Area Beard Company with the big B that stands for biblical, and I think that is really awesome. And then guys, here is the comb that came in the package. It is a standard two-sided wooden comb. Let me take it out of the package here. And it also has the Bay Area Beard Company logo on it. It's a nice, sturdy, solid comb with the fine teeth on one side and the wide teeth on the other. So detangling, fine-tuning, very, very cool. Thank you very much, Matt. I really appreciate it. So guys, it was a really nice haul from the Bay Area Beard Company. And Matt, thank you very much for sending them to me. And um, you know, I'm going to really enjoy checking these out and showing you how they perform in the next section. Let me just tell you about the ingredients before we move on. The ingredients in the beard oil are sweet almond oil, golden jojoba oil, Moroccan argan oil, avocado oil, and Jamaican black castor oil. So guys, most of you guys know I make my own beard oil, and when I make my own beard oil, those are the exact carrier blends that I use in my beard oil. So I mentioned that to Matt, and he said, yep, he had watched one of my videos on how to make beard oil, and that actually inspired him to make beard oil uh, for himself. And he tried many different combinations and blends, and he came back to this one, which is the blend that I use in my own blazing beard oil. So guys, you know I'm going to like this oil right off the bat. In terms of the balm, guys, the ingredients in this balm, he uses the same carrier oil blend, but he also adds to it fractionated coconut oil, shea butter, mango butter, and beeswax. In terms of butter, the butter, guys, this 3.5 ounce jar of butter, it includes shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, sweet almond, jojoba, avocado, coconut oil, essential and fragrance oils. So guys, that's really cool. Now, while Matt, guys, has sent me 
four different scents. He sent me the Genesis, the Exodus, the Chero set, the Casablanca, um, and oh, five cents, and the Aqua di Gio. Uh, he has several other scents also available. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to share with you a chart that shows you all of the scents that are currently available at the Bay Area Beard Company. Here they are. All right, my bearded brother, so I have a lot of products to go through here. I'm going to try to go through them as efficiently as possible. And today, guys, we will start with the beard oils. So I'm going to start with the beard oil in the Charo set scent because that one is the one that I have the matching bomb for. So, guys, again, these tubes, they were just beautiful. So let's check out the beard oil, the color, and the consistency. Okay, so again, it has this frosted bottle, dropper top, faux wood on the top. It is just a super classy looking bottle. Let's check out the color and the consistency of this oil. So you see the dropper. It's a nice size dropper. It fills up the entire tube. And this oil is really, really nice. As you can see, it is a clear colored oil, a slight yellowish hue to it. Let's check out the consistency. Put a few drops on my hands. Give it the run test. So guys, I would describe this oil as a straight up medium beard oil. Let's put it in the beard and see how it feels. And guys, you know I'm going to like the feel of this oil because it is mimicking my own blend. So I think that is really cool. But this oil, when I, when I use it, it absorbs really, really well. It starts absorbing into your skin the second you put it in, and it has a really nice scent to it. This is the this one happens to be the Chero set scent, and the Chero set scent is cinnamon sugar, oatmeal, milk, and honey. And guys, it is just delicious. It smells really, really good. This is the first time I've actually tried a cinnamon sugar, oatmeal, or milk and honey type scent. And it is really pleasant. It doesn't really smell like food. It smells like just something very, very nice uh, to put in your beard. I really enjoy it. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the bomb. So this beard bomb, guys, as you can see, it is an off-white type color. Let's take a little bit out. And for this beard bomb, guys, it is pretty smooth. Melts down almost immediately. I do feel just that slightest little bit of grit to it, but it, you know, it goes away the second you start, you know, rubbing your hands together, and it melts down really, really well. And what I found about this beard bomb, I would say this beard bomb is kind of on the lighter side of medium in terms of hold. Uh, it does a great job conditioning my beard, and for days that I blow dry my beard, you know, make it straight, the bomb does a good job at holding my beard in place and keeping those flyaways down. It was a little light in terms of the hold for days that I don't blow dry my beard, because my beard is kind of a gnarly gray beard, and it has a lot of flyaways when it's curly and stuff. So on those days, you know, it, uh, it did a good job conditioning, but it wasn't quite enough hold you know, for those days that I don't blow dry my beard, but on the important days, like days I film and uh, going to church, you know, this bomb is really, really nice. So it works well on those days. So guys, let's move on and talk about the consistency color and the consistency of this beard butter. Now guys, to me, this beard butter is the star of the show. One, it comes in such wonderful packaging. I mean, this thing is heavy. I mean, it's a solid glass container, and inside when you look at the beard butter, look at that, guys. It is just a pure white beard butter. It is a whipped consistency, but it still has some density and some texture to it. Check it out. So you take it out, 
It is really, really nice in terms of the way it melts down. It's instant, guys. And it is really nice. You don't need a lot of it. Just a little bit is all that you need. I'm not going to put this in my beard because obviously I just put the other one in. But the smell of this beard butter. This is in their Casablanca scent. And it is fantastic, guys. This is a great scent whether you're going out during the day or whether you want to wear something at night before you go to bed. I think it's very special. You get a pop of that lime, a really you know burst of refreshing lime, and then you pick up a mint underneath it, which is really, really nice. And then it's all swirled together with a really high-end, classy champagne. So overall, guys, this scent, this scent is something special. I really, really enjoy it. Um, let's talk about all of the scents that are available or that Matt had sent to me in this package. So I already talked about the Casablanca, the Chero set, Scent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the other three scents that he sent to me. So the first one here, guys, this one is his Genesis scent. And the scent profile on this one is coffee, Cuban tobacco, and vanilla. So what I get from this one, guys, when I you know, opened it up and smelled it, is I just get kind of a pure black coffee. It's like ground coffee beans. I don't really pick up a lot of of the uh, Cuban tobacco. Actually, I don't really smell any tobacco in it. And even when I put it in beard, I didn't smell the tobacco, but when I put it in beard, I did smell you know, that nice sweetness of the vanilla underneath. So overall, guys, it smells mostly like you know a dark ground coffee. It's very, very pleasant, especially if you like coffee scents. Next one up, guys, this one is his Exodus scent. So the Exodus scent, the profile on this one is orange, campfire, and toasted marshmallow. That's a little bit different. Let's check it out. And you get that nice burst of super fresh oranges right off the bat when you smell it. And I'm also picking up a little bit of that smoky, kind of a smoky campfire smell to it. So this one I would describe as a smoky sweet orange. It is also very pleasant, especially if you're a fan of citrus scents. And the final one, guys, here, this is the Aqua Di Gio Cologne scent. This one, out of all the scents that Matt sent to me, um, it would be really tight between you know, this Casablanca scent and this Genesis scent in terms of which one I like the most. They're both completely different, so it's kind of hard to rate as to which one I like more. But in terms of an everyday going out or going to a business meeting or, you know, just a night out on the town, date night with my wife, you know, I would definitely choose the um, Aqua Di Gio Cologne one. This one is a straight up, super refreshing, light cologne. And it is really, really pleasant. Um, I've never actually had the Aqua Di Gio cologne, you know, uh, as a cologne. But, um, you know, if it smells anything like this, I would think about buying it. This one is a fantastic cologne scent. In terms of the scent durations, guys, in, for all of these beard oils, um, the Chero set lasted the longest for me. That is the one that is cinnamon, sugar, oatmeal, milk, and honey. And that one had a scent duration of about five to six hours. The um, next one up would be the Exodus, which is the orange campfire and toasted marshmallow. That one lasted for me about four to five hours. And the Genesis, that is the coffee, uh, Cuban tobacco, and vanilla scent. That one had the least scent duration for me. That lasted about three to four hours. Um, and in terms of the Aqua Di Gio, that lasted a good, you know, four to five hours as well. So overall, um, the scent durations were good, and it depends on which oil you get as to how much scent duration you will have. So overall, guys, I thought all of these products were fantastic. I really loved the feel and beard. Um, they just felt really, really good. So guys, I would describe these as some heavenly products, and they definitely made my beard feel biblical. And I highly recommend that you go and check out the products from the Bay Area, Area Beard Company. They're phenomenal.
So, my bearded friends, I really enjoyed the products that were sent to me by the Bay Area Beard Company. They performed outstanding. They felt great in beard. They had exotic and unique scents that I truly enjoyed. And yes, they made my beard feel biblical. And I bet you're wondering, how much do these products cost? So guys, I'm going to tell you that right now. So for a one ounce bottle of their beard oil, this sells for $16. For a two ounce tin of their beard balm, that also sells for $16. And for their 3.5 ounce jar of beard butter, that sells for $22. Now guys, they also sell different sets. They, you can get a two oil set. That also comes with the stickers and the comb. And it comes in these beautiful boxes. And that sells for $25. Or you can also get an oil and balm set. Also comes with the comb and the stickers in these beautiful boxes. And that also sells for $25. And to make it even better, guys, when you buy a set, the sets ship for free. And guys, there is also an oil and butter set. The oil and butter set sells for $35. So that's for a one ounce oil, a 3.5 ounce jar of beard butter, uh, also comes with the comb, the stickers, and the beautiful box. So, guys, those are really good prices, especially when you consider the, sh the sets ship for free. And if you buy the products individually, there is a standard USPS shipping, and it varies by the weight of the product. So overall, guys, I would say that these products are, you know, the bought individually, they are right in that market average range, but if you buy the sets, you are getting a steal of a deal. Holy moly, guys, that price for these sets, that is heavenly. So guys, overall, I really like these products. I think you should go and check them out. And what I'm gonna do for you now is I'm gonna share with you a chart that shows you all of the products and options along with the associated pricing available at the Bay Area Beard Company. So here it is. Well, sadly, guys, we are coming to the end of another Blazing Beards review. But before I go, guys, I always like to provide a few suggestions for the company that was generous enough to send beard products out to me for review. And for the Bay Area Beard Company, I have three suggestions. The first suggestion, Matt, is get your website up and running. Right now, your customers, you know, they have to, you know, go on your Instagram page to look at what products are available. That doesn't tell them what the pricing is and the only way for them to get it is to DM you for the uh, actual products that they want to buy and get their information that way and that's just extremely inefficient and I would bet you're losing a lot of business because of it. So I would highly suggest that whatever it is that you're doing in terms of development, etc., put that on pause, put your efforts into getting your website up and running. It is super important. Uh, the second item, Matt, that I have is put the scent names and the profiles on the packaging. Um, right now, you know, just by going by color, you know, it's very hard to tell what the different scents are. I think those scents, you know, should be, you know, clearly visible as to what the scent is that's in the individual packaging. So that's my second suggestion. And the third suggestion would be to include a scent profile and product list inside the packages that you're sending out, at least until you get your website up and running. That way, when somebody does get a product from you, they'll be able to see, here's all the products and the associated pricing and the different scents available for their next order. I think that would be really useful and would help drive some business your way. So overall, Matt, I hope you found these suggestions useful and uh, you know get that website up, it's important. In summary guys, I really like this company. The theme is unique and meaningful. The presentation is exquisite 
and the products smell great and perform extraordinarily well. So guys, I have to agree, don't just grow any beard, grow a biblical beard and get yourself some products from the Bay Area Beard Company. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, found it informative and entertaining. Um, I hope that you'll hit the like button, hit the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I release new content. And guys, see down here in the corner of your screen that red box with the white arrow in it? That is the subscribe button. And it would really help me out a lot if you would click that right now and subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment on the video on what you think of the products you saw today. I would like to know. I always respond to comments. And the more comments on my videos, the more it will get circulated to our bearded friends. So, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you'd put a comment as well. And, guys, until next time, grow yourselves a blazing beard. See ya.